Mr. Modi, on the issue of Pakistan, because your foreign policy will be central on Pakistan. You have said now in a recent interview that a confrontational approach is not the best approach in foreign policy relations. So will you allow talks to continue despite ceasefire violations, despite infiltrations, because these ceasefire violations and infiltrations have really crossed all limits, especially in the last five years of the UPA. In your speeches, you've taken a very strong view on it. Can talks and terror continue? बम बंदूक और पिस्तौल की आवाज में बात सुनाई देती है क्या बम बंदूक पिस्तौल के धमाकों के बीच आवाज सुनाई देती है क्या तो बातचीत के लिए सुनाई देती है आवाज के लिए तो बम बंदूक धमाके बंद होने चाहिए I'd like to go straight back to Karachi and to Lahore. Did you hear that, Air Marshal Abid Rao and Farid Malik? I don't know if you heard that last part when yes, I was talking yes, to both. Yes, yes, I. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I heard it. Yes. So, so what was wrong in what Modi said? He okay. said, "Bam, bandook, or pistol." Ke awaz mein baatchit sunai deti hai kya? It's very straightforward. It is very Koshish straightforward. Koshish zarur karni uh, chahiye. I'm, I think. Uh, I think. I think we have to try. We have to try. We have to give peace a chance. No, because no. How peace many is in times? Everybody's interest. No, no, no. But his statement is so. Peace is in so everybody's interest. No, Tell even who? How? Ar it's Ar not Ar a matter. It, will it's be not a matter. Of, unless we attain Ar peace, Ar 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 unless we attain peace, we have to keep trying. No, no. But you unless see, unless we arrive at peace, no, no. You, you see, really you see what comes across. No, no. What, what comes speak. across? I understand what you're saying, but what comes across to me, Air Marshal Rao and Siddhartha Singh, I'm coming to you. I see your hand raised. I just want to give our guests in Karachi and Lahore a chance to open up this, and then I'm coming straight to you. I know you want to respond on behalf of your leader, Mr. Modi. Now the question is, that it's a fairly what emerges to me, Mr. Rao, uh, Air Marshal Rao, is that Modi, for Modi, Modi will be pretty categorical. Bum, bandook, or pistol, ke. माहौल में आवाज सुनाई नहीं देती है इसलिए बातचीत व्हाट ही डजेंट से इज दैट बातचीत का कोई प्रभाव नहीं पड़ेगा कोई फायदा नहीं होगा एंड ही इज देफो गोइंग टू स्विच ऑफ फ्रॉम टॉक्स ही इज ही वॉज गोइंग टू डू व्हाट मनमोहन सिंह मे नॉट हैव हैड द करेज टू डू स्विच ऑफ फ्रॉम टॉक्स इफ इफ टेरर कंटिन्यूज दिस अ वेरी रियल पॉसिबिलिटी Okay, now uh, there were a lot of things which uh, I believe were said for pleasing uh, election campaign uh, audience. then your media is trying to guide the government into wrong way which i am seeing for no, us please uh, this is a completely uh, incorrect look, uh, Arab, observation anyway uh, Arab, please, i let the politician respond to me, please to listen you. to me no i i, I, I please let me uh, uh, complete my thing you look shaky your general looks shaky when our prime minister talks of peace it is not from a position of weakness it is from a position of confidence that we can talk to india Preconditions are always put down by those people who are either shaky or guilty. You carry a guilt of 67 years of lot of wrongdoings to Pakistan, to Pakistan, Rao. to even uh, yes. Am I sure now? Please let me finish this. No, let Honourable. me let me counter guilty. you straight. Let me, talk. Let me counter you, Mr. Babu Mr. Rao. We have Am I sure now? This cannot be counted. Please, we can stand up. Am I sure now? No, no, no. Am I sure now? No, Am I sure now? No, no, no. If let me tell you, do that. Let me tell you one second. One minute. No, that option. No, please continue. Am I sure now? Let's see what Mr. Babu. Am I sure now? Now, please, I've heard you. Just ruled a state. No, no, I've heard you. Going to rule a country. I've heard you. State does not deal with defence. It does not deal with nuclear policy. It does not deal with foreign. Am I sure? No, no. Say, there comes, are three guests who want where the shoe pinches you know i'll so tell you what the shoe pinches what second before i let the guests come in before i let anyone come in from the indian side i want to make one point to marshal rao which is irresponsible a marshal so, rao uh, you can do that a marshal rao I, listen I, to I'm me mr rao you don't appreciate better gestures i i'll tell you i appreciate better gestures if you think i talks is not an option only war is the option or taking an aggressive posture I, that option is no, always you see, there. You see, now, now when you talk about war, eh, Marshal Rao, let me say, with some it. respect to you, I think, eh, Marshal Rao, you are looking very nervous when you talk about war. Nobody talked about war. People just asked you to stop terrorism. Sorry, One. Anab, I cannot hear you. No, no, I, fine. I, I, when I, I'm, I, when I'm speaking respond. the truth, you don't hear me. Eh, Marshal Rao, we would like gestures. I'll tell you, Sayyid Tariq Pirzada, what gestures we'd yeah. like. We'd like you to hand over Dawood Ibrahim to us as a gesture. We'd like gestures, okay. Sayyid Tariq yes. Pirzada. We would like yes, you sir. to we move on like the 26-11 trial we, as we a gesture. Want, we would like, we, we we like gestures, Mr. Pirzada. We would, we would like you to uh, hand over Afi Saeed how about, to us as a gesture. How about, okay. how about okay. demilitarization? We would like those gestures. Cancer to, 
We would like those gestures and we would like to put the solutions up as talks Would you let me say something? We would like those gestures, Mr. Pirzada. I'm only saying this where Amar Shan Rao spoke of gestures. Now I'd like to go back to Maru Fraza, please. Because the argument is going back and forth out here. You see, today I am glad we nailed the argument. I did not speak for myself. You spoke for me. Well, I just told you three gestures we would like. Siddharth Nath Singh. Arnab, can I come in here? I just want Siddharth to respond at a political level and then I'll come to you and General Bakshi. Arnab, can I? Siddharth. Arnab. The Pakistani friends must understand that the denial they are in will not help to take the peace forward. For unfortunately for them, peace becomes the starting point, but for us it is the goal. But to achieve that goal, they have to start somewhere and that is honoring January 2004 uh, promise uh, in the joint statement of cross-border terrorism. Unfortunately, they don't wish to do that. Therefore, we need to devise another. Let them be in a denial. And I'm telling you, th th that is what they're going to face. Let them be in a denial. A wider engagement is going to happen economically with many other major countries, including the subcontinent. India is going to strengthen their borders with a robust deterrent, leaving Pakistan in a small way, forcing them to come out and accept the peace because economically, India would have moved much faster and at a higher uh, place where they can even think about. So they're going to miss the benefits of economic I don't think development, India can move without which peace. India has India been offering them. But unfortunately, without they peace, wish to remain the denial. Peace, without peace in its backyard, India cannot move in that well, direction. Well, we will move. There has to India, be peace well, for India. that you peace. will continue with your cross-border terrorism. India to move therefore, in that therefore well, a to robust peace. deterrent see, will be at place without peace, yeah. to yeah. counter without your cross-border terrorism. No Dr. Malik, economic growth Dr. Malik what, the, what the BJP representative yeah. is saying to you yeah. tonight is that change yourself, otherwise Pakistan will be irrelevant even from India's perspective. G.D. Bakshi and Maru Fraza. GD Bakshi what first. I'm saying is this, we, we have to mutually change you know, ourselves. I would, and I would like to, Arnab, can I come in? There Arnab, can, can I come no in, please? There can be no economic growth without Arnab. peace. There can be no economic growth without peace. Pakistan on either side. Okay. You know, and may so I point Mr. out, Mr. excuse me, Mr. Pirzada, can somebody else talk? Yeah, yeah, Jal Bakshi. You know, please. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Arnab, our Pakistani interlocutors do not seem to have grasped the deep churn that has taken place in the Indian polity. The Indian people are fed up of the constant bloodletting unleashed here by Pakistan's ISI. They have had it up to the gills and now they want a government that will not take it lying down. The Pakistanis do not seem to have come to terms with it. They want a government that will respond adequately and in a very professional manner. You know, the, the sooner yes, the Pakistanis said, come to terms with it, blind. they would come that to terms with the reality of that South Asia. That will not help anybody. No, that def, will not help anybody. Therefore, therefore it will help you. Help Arnab, can I please? No, therefore, no, these will help the anybody. Pakistanis. Bloodshed. The bloodshed will not help no, anybody. No, Dr. Not Malik, Dr. Malik, I want to go to Srinagar to Maruf, but <laughs> before that, just one point to you. You know where Abdul Basit went wrong? Abdul Basit is terribly defensive. He's nervous. He's worried. He's doing his job. Poor man. But what he should be doing is not looking at this as preconditions. Abdul Basit should say not indulging in terrorism is the basic ambience for talks. He's got his grammar wrong. That's all. He should use the right words. He should say, these are not preconditions, these are the basics for talks. Yes, Maruf. In Srinagar, Maruf responding please from Srinagar to our okay, guests uh, in Karachi, Lahore and Islamabad. Ornab, I just want to make three points. And I think our friends in Islamabad will probably uh, understand the, the greater context in which these points are being made. Firstly, you know, this whole argument that how do they engage with India? Please understand that India's economy today is 16 times bigger than Pakistan. Yeah. In another five years, it will be 20 times bigger. By 2025, it's going to be 25 times bigger. So therefore, the window to extract anything from India, and the only way Pakistan can actually extract some advantage from India, forget the territorial issues, is over trade. So if they want to do trade with India, and Mr. Modi is very inclined to doing trade with everybody, here is an opportunity. 
But if they go back to going back to again and again the territorial issues, I'd like to bring out for Mr. Pizada and others' knowledge, there are two issues on the territorial front which both parties can really look at. One is the Siachin and one is the Sir Creek. Now all peace delegations, all talks have agreed that Sir Creek is doable. I don't know what is holding the governments back. As far as Siachin is concerned, That's right. Pakistan never reached Siachin, yes. so the territorial issue no, there is, also, is a completely Siachin, different issue Siachin and it's not part of done. the LOC agreement. Now let me tell you the final, sir, let me complete. The final point is that Pakistan keeps saying that we will continue to go on the same way if India pushes us into the corner. Your tactic of bleeding us by a thousand cuts has, has failed. Ended up bleeding you. You play with fire, you burn your hands. You play with fire, you burn your hands. And that's what's happening with your terror mechanism, which is now biting the hand that fed them. So please, sir, look at All positively right. turning the corner. Not? Then you have, you have let Maruf complete after that. If you are not, if you are going to be, if you are going Maru to be will stuck, never be if you are going to be stuck will, will in, able to complete in the cobwebs of the problem. past, then nobody can help you, sir. No, nobody no, can help he you. He has an insatiable appetite for long diatribes. He, you, he's responding to you. I have two minutes on the no, debate. I'll give you yours. Shorter than yours, Mr. Pizada. Well, and mine is fortunately not right, let me, You know, you know, you know, you know, Mr. Pizada. Just one sentence here. before I come to you. You know, one sentence. You know what is long, Mr. Pizada. You know what is long and short. I'll tell you what is long. India's patience has been long. But even that has run out, Mr. Pizada. And remember, one of the yeah, reasons the, the Manmohan Singh government was blamed for by the people of this country was actually candy floss diplomacy with Pakistan, which unfortunately Manmohan Singh never realized. Yes, please, to a guest from Pakistan, before I close, closing comments, from yeah. Karachi, and La Karachi and Islamabad. Uh, let me just quickly say a couple of things. You know, the United States tried to malign Pakistan by accusing it, uh, you know, of committing terrorism here, there, and uh, everywhere. In the end, we now know that the United States is engaging in serious dialogue with Pakistan and they know that this, their propaganda did not work and that Pakistan was actually a victim. Number two, India is not a superpower. You guys are grossly mistaken. India is a developing country and now that Pakistan is having an investment of 32 now billion dollars Pakistan just from a one country, and just from, should it behave just like from one? one country, you cannot swallow that. That's the problem. The third thing is, your Pakistan window is, is closing, so militarily Mr. Pizada, strong. Your window Pakistan is closing. Pakistan is so militarily strong that you cannot. <laughs> Mr. Pizada, this is enough of a lie. On an adventure, please don't be jealous. It's delusion. The past. grandeur. Your guys are living in 48, 65, and 71. Pizzada, and General Bakshi, Mr. one Pizzada, word for you. You guys your own have been sleeping too long. Wake well, up. don't forget Kargil. When we thrashed you in Kargil, you can include that as well, Mr. Pizzada. Anyway. Well, you, you took the benefit of the U.S. good offices. Say thanks to Clinton. Otherwise, we, Mr. Have, Pizzada, we are done with you. I know it hurts. I know your defeat in Kargil hurts. Mr. I know 71 hurts. Nawaz Sharif no, it did Ask not Mr. hurt. As I know 71 hurts. As far as I'm concerned, but but the, the Kashmir but, issue but there is one has opportunity. to be raised. Please, Don't look upon it is very much alive. Zada, guys, we are not very pleased to stop interest. fighting the war of terror and I will do not be peace. And learn to fight peace. like armies. There can be you no will find out that no, 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 we have no, no. to move in the direction of peace. Well, surely we will we move, move in the direction of peace, sir. But let terror end. Ending terror is ending without peace. I want to ask Mr. Basit. I want to ask peace. Mr. Basit why there he's so nervous. Growth. Actually, Mr. Basit should come on the news and tell us why he's looking so nervous. Mr. Basit said why, he why said he's looking so nervous. Mr. Right. Basit, no, no, we no, love no, to have no, you on the news. I thank you very much for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you. What's common between a 10 year old government and a 14 year old business news channel? Both get toppled by the people's favorite. CNBC TV 18, around for 14 years, has been voted out. ET Now, India's number one business news channel.